Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching. I'm on my smaller vlog camera today because I only have a couple hours of daylight left and I didn't have enough time to set up the big camera so if it looks different or sounds different, uh, that's probably why. But today, we are shooting shotguns again. And what I wanna do today is test a couple different loads out of that 12 gauge shotgun and see um, how far away are shotguns effective. Now obviously most people put something like birdshot or buckshot um, in their home defense shotguns. Most people don't recommend birdshot, but um, definitely buckshot. And loads like birdshot or buckshot spread, and the further you are away from the target, the bigger that spread is gonna be. So what I wanna see is how far away can you get from a target and still have a shotgun be an effective weapon. So what we're gonna use for this is my steel torso plate. Now this is a fairly big uh, steel torso plate. It's not one of the like quarter size ones or nothing. It's probably 12 inches wide and uh, probably 24 inches long. And let me see if I can get next to this thing. You can see that it's just a little bit smaller than me, so this should be a pretty good target to use to test the spread of these shotgun loads. And I am gonna paint over this target after every shot that we take so we know that all the marks on the uh, steel plate are from the last shot that we took. So let's get started. All right, guys, I'm using the in-laws Weatherby again. You guys have seen this uh, gun on the channel before because I do not have an 18-inch barreled shotgun. And uh, these short barrel tactical shotguns are what most people use um, that use shotguns for home defense. So this is what I'll be using. And we are about 15 yards away. Uh, anything closer than 15 yards with buckshot is gonna just devastate the target, so, and it's not really safe for me to shoot steel much closer than this. This probably ain't safe either, but um, I feel a little more comfortable being back here than I do being at five or 10 yards. So we're gonna start with just some regular double op buck at 15 yards and see what it does. Let's go take a look. All right, so the general rule that I've always heard on shotguns is that they spread about one inch per yard that you are away from the target. So um, at 15 yards, we should get a group that's about 15 inches. Well, that is not what we got here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pellets, and that is nine pellet uh, double lot bucks. So that's every pellet on the steel. And the distance between the two furthest ones is probably only six to seven inches. So a much tighter group than 15 inches at 15 yards. All right, now we're back at 25 yards, shooting the same nine pellet double lot buck. So that was a really hard hit. I could hear those pellets whack that steel, but we are starting to lose a few of them. It looks like we got one, two, three, four, five pellets this time. So four pellets uh, did not hit the steel. And I'm trying to aim as dead center as I can. It's kind of hard to shoot a shotgun without flinching, but you can see there's probably an 18 inch uh, gap in between those two. So safe to say that um, all those pellets probably wouldn't have hit that steel no matter where I was aiming and definitely opened up a lot more at 25 yards. All right, now we're back at 30 yards. That whacked that steel pretty hard. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six pellets at 30 yards, and we only got five at 25. So uh, that could have easily been me at 25, just pulling the gun off to the left a little bit. But at 30 yards, we got six pellets, and definitely lost three of them. It is nine pellet buckshot, but six double lot buckshot pellets at the velocity that they hit that steel would definitely be enough to uh, do some damage at 30 yards. Let's step back a little further. All right, 40 yards. Man, it's still whacking that steel really hard, even this far out. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. So. Uh, even at 40 yards, we're still getting six pellets, and I can hear when they hit, they are still uh, hitting that steel super hard. So the other three might be 10 inches outside of the steel. I'm not really sure where they're going, obviously, but at 40 yards to get six out of nine pellets on that steel um, is pretty good. And like I said, I can tell that they're still hitting that thing really hard. So let's step back even further. All right, now we're back at 50 yards, and this looks super far. I'll be shocked if... Uh, any of these pellets get on that steel. Let's see. I heard something hit. All right, at 50 yards, it looks like we got one, two, and part of a third pellet on that steel. And uh, they definitely hit really hard, but this looks like it's getting to the point where the buckshot would no longer be effective. I mean, I can tell 
that they're still definitely moving pretty fast even at 50 yards but um, just the amount that they're spreading now it's going to be tough to justify using a buckshot load like this because how many pellets are missing the target and going who knows where so but at 50 yards we still got three pellets on now we're back at 60 yards and it looks like we completely missed the target so 60 yards is going to be the spot where we have no pellets on the steel but i would say most people at about 20 to 30 yards would no longer want to use something like buckshot just because uh, that's when we started having pellets miss and once you start having pellets miss like that um, that becomes a liability issue but i was impressed at how far back we were able to get and still have um, pellets hitting that steel but obviously there's things like shotgun slugs out there that you can get hits with much further back and uh, I don't have too much further that I could scoot back at this range or else I would do some stuff with shotgun slugs today but uh, maybe in the future we will shoot some slugs and see how far back we can go and still get hits with those but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here guys I hope you guys enjoyed today's video my shoulder is super sore but uh, it was still a fun day and I hope that you guys had fun with me if you like this video please give it a thumbs up for me thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time